Good day and welcome to the Banner Saga. I'm Mike Like, and I've just I suppose been recording for the last half hour or so, but I've just been here reading all the entries on this map. <laughs> Let's look it back to the game. How did I get out of here? I have a bit of a map background, I've always been interested in them ever since I was a child. A couple things we gotta do, we gotta talk to this girl. Yursa, right? She watches your approach with her, with her held, tilted, uh, that's what would be head, and points his thumb towards Lunden's tent. No, here for you. Oh. Can we talk? Yursha shakes her head no, a smile on her hips, on her hips. <laughs> Eyelids glow on her lips. Eyelids glow. Why not? I don't. In those two curiously contradictory words, you get the impression she has a beautiful obsidian voice, and this might be a complete waste of time. She watches you expectantly. What does obsidian voice mean? You don't talk? No. <laughs> you do, though. I don't. Smiles warmly, clearly enjoying her game. She watches you expectantly. <laughs> you raise an eyebrow. Fire and fire don't get along. All you get is a shrug. If you're going to use them, she pulls an arrow. There's a flick of the wrist and you don't quite catch. Suddenly a bird combusts in the tree behind you. And falls to the ground, smoldering. Half the camp has turned to watch. Don't tell me not to. He watches you expectantly. No, he's mine. What? Before, before you have a chance to be confused, he cackles, abrupt and loud, and looks slightly embarrassed. You are his personal guard, though. Her expression changes to, of course. How do you end up with someone like Luden? Luck. Well, this has been fun. She crossed her arms, hand her chin, and cocks her head to one side. Until next time, Yursa. Akon. You stop and look over your shoulder. I'm a witch, so be careful. She departs. She puts her forefinger to her lips with a shh. Depart. Not quite sure what to make of that. I just noticed I was I was looking at the character screen. Just um, just um, look at what the characters I have. I haven't played this for a while. Gonna play it in batches. Just familiarize with familiarize myself with the characters. And Ur Scar switch sides. <laughs> this is weird. I think it's a scar. That could be a hair, I suppose. No, it's not moving in the wind. I think it's a scar. Okay, hey, he's moving around. Before he was over here, now he's here. Let's talk to this guy. You have a moment? As you approach Bercy, he lowers the hook book he was reading. He doesn't strike you as a book-reading type. You are Bercy? You are Akon. We got out of the way, haven't we? I had some questions. Say what you want to say. Same as you by fighting. You know what I mean. I robbed well protected merchants for at least one man's lifetime. Is that what you mean? Yeah, not anymore. I've had lots of jobs. What's the Varl doing working for Luden? What's the Varl doing working for another Varl? What difference does it make? It looks like you're in charge right now, so do me a favor and don't get Luden killed. He's important to you. No, but that's one way to put it. I guess, can I trust you? What a loaded question. Depends what you mean. Ah, the mouse got stuck. Whose back will you have if things go wrong? Assume I'm looking out for myself and you figure it out. Does Luden understand that? 
Udin doesn't even understand that half his army is here just to protect him from the people he talks to. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you laugh at the unexpected gouge. Percy grins, pleased with himself. What do you want to know? I won't keep you any longer. See you on the battlefield, old leader of Varl. Oh. You should join us. I'm where I want to be. Don't forget what I said. They're keeping Luden alive. Got it? As you step away, you can't help but wonder if there is a bit of a threat behind that gravelly request. Uh, this training, this heroes. Don't want to do that. Let's leave. I was hoping there'd be a store. Wow, it was loud. I gotta turn it down a bit. You overhear a conversation while marching alongside the warriors. I'm not happy to stomp some slag as much as his next barrel, but I don't. I didn't join up to take orders from Hakon. Says one. Apparently, he doesn't realize you're within earshot. Not willing to die for him either. Oh, well, I bet he does realize. Sure, make your presence known, but walk on. Not sure Wagner would have been, been happy to hear that, you growl loudly. The viral flinches as you walk past, without looking his direction. In the distance, you can hear his friend laughing at his, mis his misfortune. Everybody's in good mood, great morale. We have Audrey, four and six viral. A small gathering of tents comes into view. A group of merchants, from the look of it, you ask what they're doing here. We were camped out at the Godstone ahead, one tells you. Leaving an offering to Dingler, as one does, the expression turns. Dreads start appearing out of nowhere. Some of us stayed, though. Oh, some of us stayed. Thought the Godstone would be safe, but damned if I know why. We'd be dodging them since we left. Soon. Oh, what? Sure, the way to strands. Oh, ask them if they have anything to trade, of course. Not much, he replies. Anything of value we left at Godstone. I've never seen that this made viral one place before. You're off to deal with those dreads? You nod. We could part with some supplies if you need them. We'll take them. How much? I'll give them freely. Clearing the road is more than we could ask. I have one request, though. My wife's brother stayed at the Godstone. We know him by necklace with many gold rings. You see him as we are safe. If you see him, say we are safely in Strand. You agree, and the merchants continue onward. 35 supplies, not bad. Oh, oh. They're in good morale now, not quite as good. Well, I guess they have been marching for a while. The caravan slows unexpectedly. Word travels down the line that. Line, and then to Mulgar, who tells you, Dredge! Dredge know we're coming. Probably saw us back at Vaderfell and did their usual working. Could have been bad if we plotted into them, but we saw them first. Dredge, watch you, waiting to see what you do. When's the last time you commanded a few other Akon? asked Moger. Don't overthink it. The warriors can take care of themselves. War. When you come across more enemies than your party can handle, you engage in war. Give your army orders to fit the situation, but prepare to get your own hands dirty too. By making battle easier for yourself, you end up with higher casualties, or you can take burden on yourself for a very harder battle, but save more lives. If you're ever desperately outnumbered, it may be best to run, avoiding battle completely. Oh, and there's more strategy to it. I'll definitely be taking that on myself. I like a hard battle. Dredge line the battlefield, weapons drawn, a fight seems inevitable. You take a quick head count. There must be at least 488 of them. You have 185 fighters and 456 Varl at your side. Even from here, you can see nervous glances amidst the enemy ranks. This looks like a good chance, good chance to press your advantage. Okay. Formations. Formations. You start comparing weaknesses and strengths, taking into account terrain, morale, and look of the enemy. You're careful. You should be able to keep your forces balanced. Give the order. You start rallying your forces and gather your allies to you, preparing to enter the fray. Okay. 
So I command Bercy, but I already have uh, Gunnolf. Oh, and you hear something around. It sounds like there's a couple of horses upstairs. There's not a whole lot I could do about it. Man, those guys walk loud. <laughs> anyway, um, these two guys are the same. I definitely want an archer with me. She's a siege archer. I don't want two of these because you got kind of this guy is a mop up guy. Well, I suppose well, Eric is pretty good. I, well, I'll, I'll try Eric out and see how I like him. Maybe I'll swap him in for Bercy. Loading, loading, loading. This is the loading song. I don't know how long. Hurry up! <laughs> there we go. Ooh, it's a different battlefield. Okay. Uh, okay, I got two var- ooh. You're my mop-up guy, so I don't want you there. Okay, so I got these- oh, now I got three Varo over there. I want her relatively close too, so I can start put her here, I suppose. And maybe put him over here so that he can help out both sides where he needs it. And these two guys should be able to take care of those. And I got archer support. Well, let's see how it goes. Um, I don't think I can hit him. I get well. I do have this guy can give um, uh, what we got willpower, so I could use up a little bit of willpower and hit him. Go here and hit him. Or go here and hit both of those guys. But he has that slash attack. Or I could let them come to me. This hard already. <laughs> Let's go here and hopefully I can hit him. Let's do a thundering impact on this guy. Hopefully I get the other guy. No. Yeah, I did get him. That's good. Okay. Now this guy... I'm just going to move here. It doesn't matter what way they're facing, so that should be fine. Could go there. But I don't want to use up any willpower I don't have to. Okay. No, no, no. I don't want to attack. Let's bring the pain. No. In turn. Move him up here. So then eventually I could come over here and hit these guys. Ouchie! I should move them up first. Uh. Hmm. I hate moving first. I wish I didn't have to move first. I rather react to what they're doing. Then have them use up two here or let's do that and now I gotta use up two. That's not good. I don't wanna use up two. There I'm gonna get hit either way. Let's move him there. He's gonna get hit anyway. He only got hurt one, that's good. So, can I, I can hit him there, that's good. I'll impale him, so to make him bleed. Uh, no, impale. Okay, you can hit diagonally, right. I'll take down his 
armor. So I can hit him harder. Okay, that guy had to go around. Hit him. Oh, I don't have enough range. Crap. I was on the... No! No! Whew. Let's take down some of this guy's armor. I could do 10 damage to him. But I'm definitely going to do that. So one thing I haven't been using so far is this uh, um, this horn up here, and that gives you uh, willpower. Um, I don't know. I missed the memo on that. I should have this up. Oh, it's 15. Now I can't see. Let's bring the pain to this guy. Ooh, I could kill this guy. I think I could kill him. Yeah, I can kill him. Hey, okay, I got another thing on my horn. Did he get hit though? Only four. That's all right. Knock his armor down some more. Howie. Oh, he hit that guy too. Awesome. <laughs> I could do five damage to him. Seven damage to him. That determines how hard he hits too, so I'm going to do it. Um, I can't. Can I use my special ability? No, I can't. Going crazy with the... So now he's pretty much useless. He can only do one damage pretty well. Just knock down this guy's armor. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Whew! I had those two guys lined up. That wasn't going to be good. I'll move this guy over here so that he's out of the way of Mogur. Uh, how much damage can I do to his armor? I can do that much damage to his armor, or I could do Sundering Impact. Heavy Impact. One plus strength, but one plus break the target. Okay. No, I'm just going to hit him. Hit him hard. Ooh, hit me hard too. He can't be doing well. No, he's not. He has nine health. I could do six to him. Yeah, then I'll use my archer to take him out for good. He won't be able to hit hard next time. Or I could use him. There's two guys down here, though. Oh, he'll go down this time. Turn. Okay. That's good. Let's take that guy out. Oh, that's good. Good. I thought it was going to turn out much worse than that. Okay, wait. I got lots of guys left. That guy goes down next turn. I'm fine. So let's soften this guy up. I got lots of willpower to go around. Oh, that's, that was kind of dumb. Ooh! <laughs> e. Let's use this. Why not? Oh. Made him bleed. Oh shit. I didn't realize he was just close to death.
<laughs> Siege Archer. I just got a uh, achievement. I'm not sure if it came up or not. This guy has one left, so I won't waste it. Go in here as far as I can. Okay. Go in here. How much do you have left? You got three left, so who cares if we use willpower? I could do four damage to him. Uh, yeah, so then he won't be able to do as much damage next time. Darn. Oh yeah, 80% chance of hitting them. I can't use my power? Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. You got lots left. So, come on down here. And I still can reach him. God darn it. <laughs> Oh, owie. And he's blocked in. <laughs> well, I got lots of guys down here anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Now, down he goes. Oh, I had the stupid horn. I, get, I even <laughs> forgot about it. I could use that power if I wanted to. He has four. Yep. We take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back all the way down the line. Good. You could take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down more dredge would rally your fighters and save a few lives. You don't have time to rest or change your party, but a chance to loot your enemies might even reveal items they took from previous victims. Mm. Jump cut! I had to uh, make a jump cut there because... I uh, minimized the game for a second just to check a few things and the game crashed on me so I had to do the last battle over because it didn't save. So I'm a little bit better in a better place than I was last time. So Eric didn't go down and neither did I think Mogar went down. So I think you could get some loot. Let's kill a few more as they flee. We could this could end in absolute disaster. Let's try it. Okay. Oh, good. Excellent. Oh God. Okay, we're uh, not quite as a good position as I thought we were in. He only has three health. So. I'm not sure what to do about him. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm using Eric. Oh, okay, never mind. He has lots of health, so... I'm gonna put him over on the side so that he doesn't get in the way of anyone else. So let's knock this guy's armor down. So I need this guy to bring up other people's... Um, 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 uh, what's it called? Willpower. Willpower. So I could do three, or I could do one. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do here. Or I could do this. Let's uh, let's save that for the later. He's not going to do too much damage anyway, so let's take down his armor with two. Oh, he's cheap. Oh, good. I got to get her out of that real fast. Now, he could do four damage to him. Let's put him over on the side, so again, out of the way, so one of my viral guys could come in. I could make, I could impale him, but he could do four damage, so I'm not going to do that. Four, five, six. So that's a lot of damage. Let's do that. Ouchie. Ooh, that's rough. That's a rough hit. I gotta get her out of the way. 
Let's move her over here. I know she's in range of that guy, but that guy is probably not going to make it to the next turn. Let's take some more armor off. Oh, she got lots of stuff, so let's take two more armor off him. That guy is not a threat yet. The small guys aren't anyway. So I could kill him now. No, I can't. Shoot. So he has armor break. Hmm. Let's just do three damage to him so he's not doing any damage because I only have one strength. Okay, he's still not in range yet. That's good. Good. So let's put him here. And I could do three to his armor. Let's do that. Oh, oh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> he almost died. So let's, let's try it. Yes. We had, a, I think we had 9% chance. Gee, I, I missed it that quick. Uh, is that blue there? I think it's blue. So let's give him up there. Unlike uh, Rook. Uh oh. Owie. Oh wow, he has zero armor now. Uh, let's move him here. No, wait a minute. Where's these guys to? Let's move him down here. I don't want to get in this cluster, all clustered up in this area up here. That guy is still not a threat yet. So if I move one step forward, I could... What kind of range do I have on this? Not the greatest, as she only has two health. <laughs> So if I move her up here, could I get... Yeah, let's move her up here. She only has two elf anyway. And let's get these two guys with a good burn. Or him. Oh, I got one person with burn. And down he goes. Ouch. So I don't want to do this. So I don't want to get these guys in the way too much. So let's move him here. So we're going to knock down his armor anyway. Oh god. And down she goes. I knew that was coming. Let's move him up here. He doesn't have any health. But we still got guys that do have health. Let's just use him to knock down this guy's armor some more. How come they get so many turns? Woo! Thank god. <laughs> I'm missing my archer already. Uh, well, I got plenty of my horn up here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, thank God. One, one damage. Let's move him here. Let's take two of his health out. So he isn't hitting quite as... Oh! Down he goes. Mm, this isn't looking good. This is not looking good. I got two guys and so do they. So let's do that. Or if I could do that, you won't hit me as hard. Actually, let's... Let's do that so he doesn't hit me as hard. This guy has eight. I have nine armor. This guy has nine strength. I don't think it really matters. Um, I only got 70 chance to hit that guy, so let's hit him back here. Just make sure he's not hitting me too hard. Ouchie. I could do... Yeah, where am I? So I'm 
Eric. Oh, I'm Eric. Okay. I got confused. I was thinking I was, uh, what's his face there? You could do three health to him, or four. Four is perfect. So make sure that guy's not hitting too hard. Yes. Deflection. Now I want to make sure this guy's not hitting too hard. There's a... Yes! Reflection! There's a method to my madness. He has zero. So let's knock down this guy's armor. Ooh, you gotta hit that time though. I could do three damage to him. Four. Yes. Perfect. We should be good now. This guy goes down now. Haha! -ha. Perfect. Plus six Varl. Okay. I lost two fighters. Varl lost six. Ton of renown. Fifteen renown. They are two guys, man. They usually don't. 